Well, Matt, that's right. And semiconductors, or as they're more widely known, microchips, are in almost anything these days, from cars to cell phones to aircrafts. And Senator Corden's Chips and Science bill is one that helps bring the manufacturing of those important little pieces back to the U.S. to create jobs, boost the economy, and prevent shortages like the ones not too long ago. This will allow this facility to increase, to grow, to add the manufacturing and the silicon chips that our nation needs and using the incredible workforce of Lubbock to do that. While Lubbock already has a name in microchip manufacturing, many like County Judge Curtis Parrish and XFAB CEO Lloyd Wetzel are hoping to expand that footprint with federal funding. Today we have roughly a $200 million expansion approved that will bring jobs in excess of 100 to Lubbock and doubles the capacity for our silicon carbide production. Texas Senator John Cornyn helped get the Chips and Sciences Act passed in Congress last year and spent the day touring XFAB's facilities. I know XFAB has had a tremendous expansion and is planning to apply for additional funding through the Chips Act that we passed last year. The Chips Act would provide for up to $39 billion in manufacturing incentives, roughly $13 billion for increased research and development, as well as workforce development. Cornyn says there are national security risks involved with China and Taiwan producing a majority of the world's semiconductors. Potential future pandemic, heaven forbid, or a natural disaster would mean immediate recession here in the United States. The economic consequences would be terrible, but the national security vulnerability just seemed to be obvious to me and others. And while some may be surprised to see Texas Tech playing a large part in semiconductor development, the school spends a little more than $3 million a year on research. University President Lawrence Skubanek says with the CHIPS Act, along with more possible state funding, that research will only improve. Many people think about tech's work in the area of energy and agriculture, but we do have a substantial number of faculty that work in the semiconductor space. We've had more than 500 students who've interned here. And so this will capitalize upon that expertise. The prospects of bringing more federal funding to Lubbock and to Tech are very important. And XFAB says they're also looking to receive funding from the CHIPS Act. For more information on this legislation, you can head over to our website at everythinglubbock.com.